Did you know that you don't need another platform to build landing pages if you're an active campaign user? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the active campaign landing page builder to create beautiful landing pages for your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's check it out. So before we cover how to use the active campaign landing page builder, let's first go through how to get there and what's included with this feature. So in your active campaign accounts in the left here, we're going to go to website. That'll open up this nav bar here and go to pages. And as you can see, this feature is going to allow you to build high converting landing pages in minutes with simple setup and customizable templates. You can stay on brand easily with the rest of your marketing efforts that you're already you know, doing inside Active Campaign, and there's no code required. So this comes with customizable templates to get you set up and published quickly. It comes with a drag and drop editor, so no code. And then it allows you to integrate directly with your other Active Campaign tools like forms. And we'll go over that in just a second. <laughs> So how to create a landing page with this builder? We've already logged in and we've navigated to the building feature. First, you can choose a template for your landing page or start with a blank template and design your own layout. For me, in here, I'm going to click Start Building in the top right. I'm going to choose a template right up here at the top. But if you wanted to, you can click Add a New Page. and it'll bring you there directly to the templates. I'm going to pick this lead generation template here. You can preview them just if you want to see how it looks. And then click use this template. You're going to give your landing page a name. So let's say lead gen one and hit save. And now you're inside the landing page builder. So if we go back through our step by step, we've chosen our template in step two. And now we can use the drag and drop editor to add and customize the content on the landing page, including your text images and forms. So you'll see this prompt here to add a form. We've got all the elements over here to be right. So we can add in uh, navigation bars, text, we can add buttons, forms, images. All of this is available over in the right here. Okay. So you've got your copy, you can adjust this. Reasons to sign up. And if you look here, when you select the section, you'll be able to adjust the background. And what's awesome about this is you can adjust all of the spacing, click and drag, it's super simple. You'll see it update over here as well. And you can select whether or not you want this to be visible on mobile or on desktop. And from here, what I'm going to do is recreate basically our newsletter uh, landing page that we have for our wildmail.io website. So looking here, we've got a logo block and um, we can always adjust that. I'm going to adjust the copy though first. So I'll click into this text box. If I wanted to add different text, you can grab it from over here and drag in the paragraph, drag in the headline for the larger text. Uh, I'm just going to edit this template directly. So I'll click in. And I can grab this copy and paste it in. And then I've got this paragraph text here. So I'll grab this copy and replace it here. And of course, again, you can uh, type this in yourself. And then it says add a form here. This is a text block just reminding you to add a form. So I'll show you how to do that now. Over in the right, we can grab the inline form block, add that in. We can use an existing form and I'll just search for newsletter sign up English and hit add form. And then delete this text box. It's just a reminder. Now you can see the two blocks are a little bit off. You could just click and drag to make them even if you want it. And then we've got our form to capture first name and email. Uh, if we wanted to adjust the form, I can click in, go to edit form or replace form, and it'll allow me to adjust those details and then return right back here. Now, here are some reasons to sign up. And we've got these three images here and four in this column. So I like this, but I, I do just want the section with three columns. So what I can do is click into the section and go with row, add that in. 
And once that's added in, I can drag columns into that section. Now I've got two columns, drag one more, I've got three columns, and I can drag the image one, image two, image three, and drag in each of these. It's so easy to, to use. And once that's done, I can delete that row. And I've got my three columns just like this. And now I'm going to show you how to add the images. So I can click in and over in the right here, choose replace. I've already got these images uploaded. You can just hit the upload button to add images or drag and drop them. So we'll do the MRR growth and the YouTube channel. Revenue updates for feature one. And the new content. So now we've got our newsletter, we've got our form. Okay, we can actually uh, adjust this form, I'd remove the header for this form, I'd remove the subheader. So you just have first name uh, and email or just email. And then the join button, you can remove the marketing by active campaign. Uh, I'd remove these because we already have them over here. Um, we've got our images, you can adjust the size with these images if you want. And now we've got our site here, uh, rebuilt, you can adjust further adjust the copy, but very intuitive to use the drag and drop builder. Back with our steps here, that was step three, using the drag and drop editor to add and customize the content. Now we can preview it to see how it looks on different devices. You always want to preview before you set it live. So in the top right, preview page, and it'll show you a version of what yours looks like live. You can make any adjustments. If you need to see it on mobile, it's in the top left. Before we publish this, we're actually going to go back to pages and step five, we've got to adjust our page settings. So here's our draft over in the right with the drop down arrow, you can go to view page settings and adjust all of the metadata settings for search and for social. So if I add a title here, for example, wild mail newsletter, you'll see it previewed over here and for your social as well, add your images. Adjust compliance depending on where your business operates. And you can adjust any custom code in the head and the body of your page. Going back to pages, the last thing you want to do is to select the URL. Now here it's just using the domain uh, that's generated from our active hosted account. But if you connect your actual website, domain to active campaign, you'll be able to produce landing pages for that domain. If you have any questions on how to do that, just drop them in the comments below. Once that's all set, you can go back into your draft. We've just covered step five. So now we're going to publish the landing page after choosing a domain and subdomain and then click publish. Here's publish the page right there. Before publishing your page, it's going to ask you to connect your analytics. You can do that with settings. It'll allow you to choose the domain and create the URL slug. You can also save this landing page as a template if you'd like, and then hit publish. Now your page is live. So you can click the view live button to see it live. Once it's published, you can then track the performance using the analytics if you uh, hook it up and the tracking tools provided by Active Campaign. You can also make changes to the page at any time by going back into the editor and adjusting. So now you've gotten to see the main features of the Active Campaign landing page builder. You've got customizable templates, the drag and drop editor. Um, and now we'll dive into some of the more advanced features of the builder. So we showed you how you can add forms directly, and there are also integrations with other forms. If we go into apps, over here in the bottom left and search for landing page. Uh, we've got uh, other landing page builders that you can integrate. Uh, you've got Gleam for creating pop-up giveaways. Um, the AC video tracker, if you've got a video on your landing page, it can actually track uh, you know, watch time, add uh, tags, 
et cetera, inside Active Campaign based on how someone engages with your video. Uh, you can add chat widgets to the landing page. So there's a lot that you can do in addition to what's already there uh, in the builder to customize it and to uh, increase conversions. We mentioned the analytics and tracking. So if I go back to our website here, you can actually see it says uh, two total page views. If I go to the page and view it live, then I go back and refresh. You'll see it now says three page views and you can track conversions uh, based on how many people are opting into your uh, form. And then we've got web personalization. This is an amazing feature. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but just give you a little uh, preview of it. It's here inside website, web personalization. We have other videos on this in our marketing automation uh, YouTube playlist. But this here basically summarizes it. Show each visitor the content that's right for them. So it allows you to show dynamic and conditional content where it says show the right message at the right time across your uh, web pages, across your landing pages, based on how that content is tagged inside Active Campaign. All right, so you can send them to all your uh, visitors, go to the same page, but they'll see different content based on their contact profile in, inside Active Campaign for ultimate personalization uh, and increased conversions, more sales, more reviews, and just a better overall experience for them. So this is an amazing feature. Um, it's only available on certain plans, so you have to check that out. And then I did mention A-B testing. This can be done through some of the uh, landing page integrations with Active Campaign. Uh, they don't have this as a feature yet, but you can do it through some of the landing page uh, integrations found inside apps. Finally, just a few quick tips for using the landing page builder. Uh, you want to make sure that you do optimize the page for mobile. So that means um, when you're previewing your page before you publish, make sure it doesn't look uh, messy when you've, you know, if you design it using the desktop view. Here we can go back in. And when you're designing it, typically, you know, you're going to design the desktop view, but you can also switch uh, to mobile for this viewing. And just make sure that you've uh, got everything organized in a way that's mobile friendly. Use compelling imagery and headlines. Of course, good copy always helps uh, with conversions. And then uh, again, can't say this enough, test the page before you publish. Uh, make sure you don't need to make any adjustments. Of course, you always can go back in to the editor and make those adjustments, um, but it's always best to uh, test before setting it live. And as you're testing, as you're using the editor, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below here and we can help you out with that.